G'day everyone, Orlando here from Cool Runnings Engineering. Today we begin the teardown of the FJ20 turbo engine from our Datsun 1600 test mill. Alright, so today I'll be coming to you from Unigroup Engineering. Um, just want to say thanks to the guys for accommodating us and for always been there uh, to support us through the builds. Um, they've done all the tuning on the FJ um, up to this date and yeah, we'll continue on into the future. So before I get into it, I just want to do a quick backtrack on what's been the catalyst for this build or rebuild, I should say. Um, uh, some of you may or may not have known, but a few months ago we decided to do an E85 versus pump 98 and water injection back-to-back -back testing. So while we were on the dyno, um, with the first few power runs on E85, the head on the FJ um, lifted under boost and pressurised the cooling system. So while that would have probably been an easy fix, um, just by removing the head, giving it a quick, quick skim, and replacing the head gasket and head studs, we decided that after 14 years of beating on the poor thing, we'd give it a quick freshen up um, so that it's more reliable moving into the future. Anyway, I think that's uh, enough of the talking for now. Let's get into it and start stripping down this thing. So that looks like some kind of windage tray design under there. I'm not sure um, where that came from or uh, who made it. It was on the engine um, when I bought the car, so yeah. Anyway, we'll rip it off and keep going. back out at Unigroup Engineering for day two of the FJ Teardown. Uh, today we're going to drop the crank out and then we're going to box up all the parts, get it out to the machine shop. Uh, also this, uh, this afternoon we're going to pick up our new gearbox, so really excited about that. We'll hook in now, get this all sorted and yeah, make it happen.
So as you can see, we're just about done here. Just got the crank and the pistons laid out on the bench. And you can see the block over here. If we have a look, see the balls aren't too bad. They're in pretty good nick considering we've been beating on this thing for the last 14 years. Also you can see the crank. Not too many issues there. The pistons do have some slight wear on them. You can see number four there. It's got some scuff marks. Same with number three. But on and all, they look pretty good. So yeah, really happy with it. We'll get it all to the machine shop. Um, uh, while we're here, I thought we'd give you a quick look at the turbo and the manifold that we're using. So this is a Garrett GTX 3071 Gen 2. It's running a 0.83, I believe, from memory. Yep, 0.83 twin scroll rear housing. I'll flip it over. So you guys can have a look. And this is the twin scroll manifold we made for it a number of years back. I'll do a more detailed breakdown of the manifold and also the turbocharger um, in another video explaining mm, the reason that we went with a twin scroll setup and that size turbocharger for um, our application. All right, guys, well, we'll wrap it up there for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, a big shout out to your Vuz and the Unigroup team for giving us free reign of their workshop. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.